Welcome to ITU Telecom World 2018 here in Durban, South Africa, where I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Jack Bushler, who is Chief Operating Officer for Quicker. Jack, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Now, I'd like to start off by asking you a little bit about Quicker. Perhaps you could tell us, just in a, in a nutshell, what you're all about. Yeah, Quicker's about providing internet access to those who have not got connections. That fits very well with the ITU uh, plan, all their plans, and we're really proud to be here. And you're making the world accessible, you're making uh, digi di digital uh, inno innovation accessible to, to the world, is that right? That's right. I mean, we're providing the basic connectivity platform. Without the connectivity platform, you have nothing. You have no internet. So we're providing that. Obviously, there's lots of overlay on top of that through content, and content is king, really. So not what, the connectivity. So what are your key objectives for the next five years? Oh, certainly, again, in line with ITU, we, there are it's a sub of four billion people who have no connection. So that is definitely our aim and our target. Uh, if you want a hard number to put on it, 3.8 billion. Um, but obviously, it'll be a, some percentage of that. But certainly, we, that's where we're aiming up, up there. And run me through the process. How are you planning to achieve this? Well, satellite coverage is a very well-known old technology. We're not doing anything new here, except that we're using a new frequency band, KA band, which gives us more bandwidth in that same... Uh, and that gives us more bandwidth at a lower cost. The equipment's lower cost. It's self-installed by the users. This is a, a, a new feature, which makes it all a lot easier for the end user to get onto the system. That's really the, the, the key features of the system. And the it. cost to the end user? Well, we have two services. We have a free service, believe it or not, which is absolutely free to the end user. We're going to look for universal service funds, offerings and things like that to help subsidise the initial hard step of the terminal, which is around $250, $300. Otherwise, we have a commercial service, which is a paid-for service like any other service, but at much lower cost with this self-install feature so people can get online fast in rural areas they just have to take the box we'll use the word ikea installation and they can install it themselves that's a major major step forward and what has the feedback been like so far here i mean the show is just you know we've had people i won't say crying at our stand but are just so pleased um, that something like this has come along at last so yeah we're, we're working with lots of different people regulators we're working with ministers We've met uh, some of the MNOs. We've met so many people who want, want to do this. We've met administrators who can't connect their schools, their hospitals, and things like that because they're in rural areas and they're outside of the mobile coverage. We want to work with those mobile operators. This is not against mobile operators. This is widening the mobile operators' coverage to help them to get more customers on board and to those very rural areas at a low cost. So if someone comes to you, how quickly is it going to take them to roll it out? Um, we've seen, we're already running service, by the way, in Iraq and Afghanistan. The fastest service that we have delivered is 19 minutes from taking the box and opening the box. Now, how long is it going to take them to get the box to that site? We'll exclude that, because in Africa, that could be quite a long time. But once they have the box, we're looking at very, very short times for installation. Self-installation, by the way, with no specialised tools. Again, this is a new, really new feature. And so you're hoping to replicate this business model across the globe? This is going to be a global, global business, definitely. I'm running into hundreds and hundreds of millions of users. So we're at the early days here, very early days. That's extremely, extremely exciting and very, very, uh, very interesting news. Uh, in terms of, obviously, you've mentioned it a little bit, but in terms of attending events such as this, it's the first time you've, you've been here. I mean, your impressions of it so far? Um, oddly, I, I'd use the word green. I'm sure no one else has used that. Um, we've only had to travel hundreds of metres here, up and down the hall, to meet regulators. We've met the ministers. We've met different people. Just walking up and down the hall. I can go to Mozambique in a second. I can go to, you know, Ghana in another few more seconds. That's it. I described it in a nutshell for me. They saved me so much time and effort. Very, very worthwhile. That's fantastic. And have you got a message for participants here in ITU Telecom World and beyond? Yeah, I mean, I think um, certainly 
the ITU World Conference here has been is really good, very very worthwhile. For us, we want more people to understand what we're trying to do and work with us, and not against us because. We want to bring internet connectivity to everyone. And we have a very nice video, we don't have time to show it, which shows it makes you think, why, why can't we do this? What's the, big, what's, what's the impediment to uh, providing this to the other three billion? Full steam ahead. Well, thank you very much, Jack Bruchner. And you very much. Uh, we wish you the very best of luck in the future and hope to catch up with you soon. Thank you. Cheers.